So today I wanted to come to you on All my left-handed people know that <laughs> All right, so today I am headed down to Williamsburg from the D.C. area. Uh, for me, if I were driving, it would be a two and a half hour drive without traffic. But we know how that goes on 95 and 64. So I am actually taking Amtrak. I'm taking the train to the Williamsburg area. It's something that I've done before. I did not capitalize on this when I actually was in school because I lived in Southern Virginia, 757, and I was only 45 minutes from home. So I am gonna be taking the train. Um, let's see, it takes, on the train it's another 45 minutes, but it's passive so I can sleep, I can eat, I can do work, I can prepare for whatever speaking engagements I have, and I really enjoy that downtime instead of dipping and dodging and fighting traffic um i tell my girlfriends i'm not 21 anymore so that drive starts to take a toll on my my neck and my back all right so while on the train i ran into none other than my senior class president, Mr. Kevin Dua, well known in the teaching industry in the New England area. So I'm back on campus. I'm actually in Colonial Williamsburg. Behind me is Confusion Corner. Um, the cameraman is actually my senior class president of William Mary, Mr. Kevin Dua, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be here for a panel in a couple hours. I'm gonna get to the campus shop, see what kind of t-shirts they got going on, and then I'm gone. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what I'll do with it. It feels so good. We have Cypher, my favorite curly Q girly type thing, traditional. This is a nice half zip up. Um, I like that. Like a nice pull. Mm. Oh, but this one looks better, I feel like, with the green and the gold. Mm. Although it's getting warmer now. Mm -hmm. um, I think Jess. Probably should get a t shirt or two. My t shirts are half hot. How do you feel about like light long sleeve? Because oh, I do. Yes, for for our area, uh -huh. Northern Virginia, DC area, yeah, you can breathe but still be covered. Mm -hmm. I have to get that one too. So do you have like bumper stickers and you don't do all that? I don't like when I say I don't have, I don't have anything. Is it is not a disdain for the? I love it's. Just don't have I, yeah, I think being here, like, oh, I don't need. That's true. It's and in the moment I left, I was like, oh, right. No, I need it. I need it. All right, so now I'm in the what I knew as the University Center. It's now called the Sadler Center, named after Sam Sadler, our beloved Sam Sadler, who retired a little bit after I graduated. Um, so they have done a lot of improvements uh, to the interior design and even knocked out a couple of walls since i was here so here's my panel womanism and feminism and i am in tightwater a now this room has not changed much the flooring is different uh the view of the stadium is still the same but a beautiful um logo on the back of the uh scoreboard and then this is the Wren chapel fun fact i got married in the Wren chapel and just like that i'm back in dc hope you enjoy Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in uh, amongst the B-roll and the prettiness and talk about one of the questions that my supervisees ask me or that people DM me, friends and family, and it's how do you get invited places? How do you end up uh, at these panels, these events, and things like this? And I have to say it goes to goes back to relationship so obviously i'm an alumna of william and mary 
Um, and so I have maintained that relationship over the past, dare I say, 15 years. <laughs> um, and so it um, also behooves me that William & Mary actually has an Office of Alumni Advancement and that helps facilitate, procure, and manage relationships with alumni after they've matriculated from the college. So based on that relationship and being able to uh, hone in on my skill sets, my hobbies, um, things like that, and making the school aware of that, I am invited back for various events and activities. Uh, another thing that's important too is when you are invited, you know, show up and show out, right? Like, so if you're going to get the invitation and you're going to accept the invitation, you need to ensure that um, you're bringing it. Like, I'm not just resting on the laurels of my alumni status thinking I can come in and be mediocre or half ass it. So it's going to be one of those situations where um, I'm always going to execute with a particular level of excellence. Um, regarding other events that some of you have seen me at, or if you follow me over on Instagram, uh, things that I tend to go to is relationship. I may support that business uh, through uh, purchasing products, uh, uh, buying into services, and I'm also loyal. Uh, so when I find something that I like, whether it's a product or a service, I'm going to stick with you unless you leave the area. And even then I might find a way to <laughs> fly out to you, visit you wherever you are. So I am very loyal in that way. And because I'm loyal, um, I'm going to refer your uh, greatness to others. So that's another uh, subtype of relationship and how I continue to um, remain top of mind for other people like oh yeah you know crystal's a therapist and she does xyz maybe you should invite her to do this or maybe you should call her um i'm gonna refer people to her blah 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 blah, blah. uh another form of relationship is community building uh trust building and not keeping everything to yourself right so gatekeeping is one thing like oh um, I'm not going to tell you this because I don't want people to know or have access. And in the Black community, I know we're trying to um, dissolve this uh, mechanism of gatekeeping. Um, so community building looks like, you know, not holding all the goods to yourself, making sure people know who and what you stand for and what other people have. And also knowing that, like, if this opportunity is not carved out specifically for you who can I refer in my community to do this even if it means you don't get paid for it and that person does right because I don't specialize in perinatal perinatal uh, mental health um, I don't specialize in um, children so those colleagues will get a phone call or email from me and I'm like hey I got this opportunity um, can you handle it <clears throat> Having said that though, who you're referring uh, to these resources, you wanna make sure they show up and show out and execute with the spirit of excellence in the way that you would. Otherwise, they're gonna have you out here looking a mess and um, you probably will never refer again and that person will not ask you to do anything else for them again. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that um, I truly you know, enjoyed my time at William & Mary, the rigor was ooh, something else. Um, we are the second oldest college. We are the oldest college of the South. Uh, I learned a lot there, not just textbook, but also how to maneuver in various spaces, particularly when um, I don't look like the other people around me. Um, and it gave me a lot of foundation and groundwork for uh, expectations and then made up expectations in your head, right? Like, so those great expectations that may not be um, as realistic once you reality test them. So that also has been helpful. Um, 
but you know hope that helps i'm trying to keep this short so my audio doesn't cut in and out uh but keep me posted comment like subscribe share and i hope you enjoy this vlog <laughs>